All right, guys. I'm. I couldn't believe what just happened, but I'm leaving Chiang Mai alone. Coming to you from the Chiang Mai International Airport. I can't believe this is like my last morning here in Chiang Mai. We're officially leaving Thailand. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Vietnam. Like, oh my god, I have a mixed feeling. Like, I'm excited for Vietnam, but also Chiang Mai has been my home for the past couple four months and honestly like I really love it here. Right guys just landed in Da Nang and actually this is my second time here. I was here like five years ago but honestly I have so little memory about that. Oh actually the first vlog that I ever created on YouTube is my Denang travel vlogs. So, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Um, I heard there's a lot of changes throughout the past um, couple years. So I'm sure it's gonna be different and I'm excited to be here. Even like the airport, I have no recollection about this airport at all. So yeah, it's gonna be like another first impression of Denang. But yeah, I'm gonna head down now um, to get my passport stamp and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm sure Danang is such a popular destination right now. I feel like the airport is Alright, now I just gotta go figure out the SIM card situation because I'll be staying in Da Nang for a month and after that I'm sure they also use Grab here so I'm just gonna book a Grab to the hotel so you can get the SIM card here directly at the airport um, honestly it wasn't my first option but we need a SIM card so let's go hi one month one month one month we have been now for 10 yen dollar oh okay yeah you know. all right guys that was that was actually really fast so like just like when you do the baggage claim like across the baggage claim you have the sim card providers over there and then when you walk out from the arrival gate international arrival gate um and if you want to change some currency you can just like turn to the left and around like 200 meters you'll find all of this currency exchange all right first impression everything is very convenient at the airport um just across the arrival gate when you come here if you want to grab uh grab a grab car it's just like right here so yeah we're gonna go and order a grab car all right guys found the grab driver i'm just like walking to the parking lot and yeah i heard it's actually rainy season here in da Nang right now but it looks a little bit cloudy but not too bad and yeah it's not too hot as well so all good come on come on come on <laughs> Now I don't really wanna go to the place where you're not gonna miss me. Life's no fun if you don't live it risky. Learn how to fly so I can go and dance 60. Learn how to grunt so I can go and dance 50. Fell for a girl, but really I think she tripped me. Now I'm going crazy and I'm betting that she wishes. In the car right now, going to a hotel. I think this is um the right time to explain a little bit why am I traveling um alone this time well that wasn't the plan okay so i was supposed to come here with sean my boyfriend and when we arrived at the airport we just found out that he actually couldn't do the visa on arrival so he need to get an e-visa beforehand so he can't go he can't come to vietnam oh i have the dragon dragon bridge that's the famous bridge here in Da Nang and every weekend they will have um, a nighttime show. I heard like the dragon will like burst out fire from its mouth. Is it the rainy season in Da Nang? Uh, ra rainy season? Raining? Um, Pai Song. Pai Kong. Pai Kong. 
Alright. Google Translate failed me. <laughs> So I just checked in at the hotel, dropped my luggage, and then like I'm really craving for Vietnamese food and I haven't had anything since the morning. So I came across this uh, restaurant which is like pretty close um, from the hotel. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. Um, with like big groups, like tour guide. And <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm like the only one eating by myself here. I'm excited for Vietnamese food, so I think I'm just gonna stay here a couple hours, eat, drink some coffee, and then, yeah, I think we'll go back to the hotel or explore the neighborhood after this. We'll see. Come on. Thank you. Yay, Vietnamese coffee. All right, here's the order. I got a. Uh, I was gonna order bun mi, but I saw this noodle, and they recommend it, so like I'm getting this one instead. And I've never tried this. It's called Quang noodle. And one thing I really like about Vietnam Vietnamese food is they always come with a big side plate of like vegetable. <laughs> Finished lunch, um, that was really good. Honestly, it was really good. Um, I think I'm gonna start looking for Mi Quang now. I hope I pronounced it right. But yeah, I'm just gonna like walk around, just check out the neighborhood here. And another first impression, I don't remember that there were a lot of Koreans here in Da Nang. We're just gonna walk around and check out the area around here. It's not too busy. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just like this area. Look at that guy. That's physics, guys. Oh, wow. It's also like really nice because for transportation wise, it's still very convenient. They use Grab all the time and you can just like pay with cash or like connect your credit card to your Grab apps. Getting a coconut coffee from one of the famous places here. It's called um, Nam House. And it's very interesting because I thought Vietnam is only um, famous for the egg coffee, which I had like five years ago in Hanoi and I remember really liking it. But yeah, the girl at the hotel told me that I should visit this place because they have one of the best um, coconut coffee and also egg coffee. So yeah, I'm here for the egg coffee and also this place is very vintage. I think if you're visiting Vietnam for the first time or it's just in general just like come to explore Vietnam, I think this is a must visit place just because like all the interior here, it's very old school and I think it represents um, Vietnam very well. Also the price here is really good. They have like a lot of different coffees like I saw the review on Google Maps a lot of people like their salt coffee um, egg coffee and their coconut coffee egg coffee is here it's funny because they oh it's hot yeah they put a water <laughs> I miss this. This is like one of the things that I miss the most about Vietnam, the egg coffee. Because I don't think you can find it anywhere else. Oh my god. Yeah, it's really good. Super creamy. You can kind of taste the egg in a good way. And it's also like really nice seeing like a lot of people here and they're just chilling, mostly local. So I think like their main customers here are locals. 
So I think if you want an authentic like Vietnamese um, experience, this is really nice. Drinking your Vietnamese coffee in this type of like interior. Yeah, I highly recommend.